morning. I'm Ann Bishop, Executive Director of Texas Public Employees Association, and I'm here to support the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles budget, and also to point out some of the other things that weren't specifically addressed. And that is, I look at the workforce reports as well as the LAR for all these agencies. And as you know, there's a recurring theme. And the recurring theme is the ability to attract and retain state employees and the impact of inflation that has on state employee salaries. It's no secret that the last uh, inflation adjusted pay raise was September 1st, 2014, and that was in fiscal year 2015. Since that time, the salaries of those people, and some of them transferred from other agencies, we recognize that, have had about a 27% impact uh, in decline in purchasing power. One of the key metrics that we look at agencies is not just turnover, but also people eligible to retire and return to work employees. This agency, it estimates that it has over 100 people that are either eligible to retire or are returned to work uh, employees. Employees, and of course, if when you have a employee, an employee who is eligible to retire or to return to work, um, their job satisfaction is really important because they can walk out the door tomorrow. It is not necessarily that they would, that certainly we have very loyal state employees and who would transition, but the reality is if they're offered something else or something different or even part-time work somewhere, they could retire and then uh, do something else. The other item to point out is that 68% of the Department of Motor Vehicle employees are paid below midpoint. And midpoint is really what the state auditor uses as a benchmark for competitiveness. And you have 68% of the employees of this agency um, that are paid below midpoint. So we respectfully request that when you do your debate and consideration that you consider an inflation adjusted salary increase for all state employees. And I'm happy to answer any questions, provide additional information, and I appreciate your time. Thank you, Ms. Bishop. Thank you. Any questions?